you know, I knew that I wanted to write my my BA thesis on the Yiddish Policemen's Union by Michael Chabon. Um, like since I was a first year in college, like I made all these really bizarre decisions when I was a first year in college and just sort of stuck to them. Um, but just the idea to me now that I could possibly have even considered writing about that novel without either one actually knowing any Yiddish or anything really about Yiddish is just astounding to me. I can't believe that I even thought that was a good idea. Like, I there totally could have been another universe it's funny that we're talking about like a counterfactual novel and I'm now talking about counterfactuals <laughs> referring to it, but I'll just go with it. Um, you know, there's a universe in which I could have written my thesis on this novel and not having done and not have done the Steiner program. And I can't believe that because I would have just been so misguided and that just would have been a silly thing to do. Um, <laughs> but so, yeah, that was the best decision I made possibly, at least regarding my thesis. Um, but basically, let's see. So I was, I knew I was interested in writing about it because it was, um, it was a novel by a contemporary Jewish writer that I knew I wouldn't need to spend 10 pages of, you know, the 25 to 40 pages that I had allotted to me. Um, I wouldn't need to spend time or space or any thought or, or anything like that explaining that it's a Jewish book. Because I think it's obvious that it's a Jewish book because it is about a Jewish, an alternate Jewish homeland, and it's about Yiddish, or it's in Yiddish. Yiddish is in the title. Um, and I think it's a, just a really problematic book, and that's sort of what inspired me to work on it. Um, and it's a book that is really thought-provoking and makes a lot of people kind of angry and a lot of people from kind of different sides of it are angry about different things. Like people that are staunch Yiddishist think that it's just sort of a trifle, that it's not a really serious or interesting investment in Yiddish in any sense. And then there are people that don't give a hoot about Yiddish but just think that it is, you know, it's anathema to their worldview, that it, you know, it is anti-Zionist that, um, but I think that neither of those people, that neither of those camps are really right about the novel. And I think that people are just kind of, I think that they're not slowing down and reading the novel on their own terms, on the novel's own terms rather. So that was sort of the project, I guess. And I'm glad I did it. <laughs>